And now it's time for another Booze and News Top Story. Did you hear about what happened with the Mona Lisa recently? Um, oh, fuck. No, I didn't. I, I, I saw a meme about it. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, sometimes people will make, will make like, they'll do a painting that's like sarcastic. Right. And I saw one about the Mona Lisa and I was like, fuck, I hope that didn't happen in real life. Um, <clears throat> so um, on Sunday, uh, there was a, uh, a person... Um, um, I don't know if they're trans or they, they apparently it was, it was a person they say in disguise, like a man in wearing a, a wig dressed like a woman in a wheelchair. I don't know if that just means they were trans or what, but um, anyway, they used the wheelchair to like get close to the, the painting, right? So normally if you've ever been to like an art, like the Louvre or whatever, like they don't let you get right up next to it, right? There's like ropes off and shit. Oh, but, believe me, I know. I go to the Louvre all the time, constantly. <laughs> Constantly, constantly about paintings because, like, I just want to get up close to them, you know. Right. I have bad eyesight, but also I like I like the smell. Yeah. Of old of artwork, I like the smell of uh, of oil. So, well, here's the interesting <laughs> thing: you wouldn't actually be able to smell it. So, so the Mona Lisa is actually quite small. If you didn't know that, um, much smaller than the iris, you know, yeah. led to belief. The price oh, yeah, because you always see it like it seems so much bigger and there's right. so much like. A- um, but it's, it's quite small and it's got bulletproof glass in front of it. Um, that's crazy. They had that. Yeah. Da Vinci, dude. Da Vinci was a fucking motherfucker. He was a smart motherfucker. But anyway, um, so the person comes up in the wheelchair and, uh, takes some cake out, I guess that they have hidden and just starts smearing it all over the, uh, <laughs> front of the Mona Lisa. And I was oh, going to yeah. see if in the article, I don't see that. It is, I'm surprised it doesn't have pictures of it. Or maybe it's like this plug in here that won't load. I'm going to try to load it again. Um, but yeah. Um, and they were in protest of something. Like I couldn't. It was. Uh, this article fucking blows. Um, uh, I think they were. Yeah, it was environmental stuff. Like global warming or something is what they were protesting. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that has to do with cake. Like maybe let them eat cake. I don't know. I think I don't know why that one specifically. You'd think they they do that over like like a like an aristocrat, any painting of an aristocrat or something. Right. Or, I don't. I don't. I mean, it did make the news, so that it you know, worked. I mean, you know. And uh, also, how did they get behind the bulletproof glass? Did they just like take? No, no. It's take, it's like the bulletproof glass is like right on the front of of it. So like okay. in between Damn. the frame and the and the painting, so you can't actually <laughs> so like you could you could blast the Mona Lisa and it'll be fine, you know. Yeah, as I've tried to do, I've tried to. Then they, <laughs> I was taken down by four armed guards um, right. because you know she's fucking smiling at me. What are you fucking smiling at? Yeah, she has that. And and she has that. She has that like resting bitch face smile. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who do you think you are? But also, they should. They, they went through all that trouble with the bulletproof glass and they couldn't like cake proof it. That's fucking yeah. wonderful. Thanks for watching. Follow Booze and News on Twitch. We live stream Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we put up new content. Cheers.